Hello and welcome to the Link's seventh annual event. I'm James Lewis, one of our Housing and Services Division Directors here at the Link and your MC for this event. I've been with the Link for over seven years and in this field supporting youth for over 21 years. I'd like to take a moment to share with you why I do this work. I grew up in a community where people look out for one another, whether that was a coach, a boys and girls staff member, or Miss Rudy down the street that made sure the whole block was safe. There were many people in my life outside of my family that created a village of care and love. As I became an adult, I knew it was my calling and responsibility to give back, to be a leader and a caregiver in my community. Here I am today, proud to say I'm living my best life. Enough about me, now let's get on to the show. As many of you know, the Link has been proudly supporting youth for over 30 years. What started as a grassroots initiative founded by two black men who were former Vikings players, Jim Marshall and Oscar Reed in 91, has grown into a thriving organization today, serving 2,000 youth and young families each year. The Link has over 20 programs throughout the Twin Cities to meet the urgent needs of young people in our community. Before we move on to the great program we have planned for you, we would like to thank our amazing sponsors for supporting The Link and all of the youth that we have the honor of working with. We really couldn't do this work without your support. Gold Sponsor, Carlson Family Foundation. Silver Sponsors, Apple Autos, Mall of America, Knock Inc., SFM The Work Comp Experts, West Monroe. Bronze Sponsors, Alina Health, Anderson Windows and Doors, Ballard Spar, Bridgewater Bank, Choice Bank, Fredrickson and Byron, Minnesota Vikings, Old National Bank, Thompson Reuters, and our print sponsor, Minuteman Press Central. Also, we'd like to give a special thank you for Glass House for allowing us to use their beautiful space for today's event. Next, I would like to thank all of our Be A Legend sponsors. We have businesses, community partners, and individuals step up this year like never before to support the Link and families that we serve. Thank you for being a legend. We couldn't do this work without all of your support. And to all of our other amazing sponsors, we thank you as well. We also want to acknowledge and thank our board of directors. We truly appreciate all of the incredible ways you support The Link as we continue to work with youth and young families to overcome the impacts of poverty and social injustice. Those of you who participate in the advisory board and the development committee, a sincere thank you. Your extra work and effort propel us forward in ways that we could have only imagined. And to all of our amazing volunteers, you make our day-to-day -day programming a success. Thank you so much. And a big thank you to the staff who helped make this event possible. And to our youth, you are the reason we are all here. Thank you for inspiring us with your ideas and your passion. Your leadership and determination will continue to create lasting change at The Link and in our community. It is such a pleasure to be here with you all we have a great program in store for you. You will hear from our Volunteer of the Year, our Youth and Community Leadership Award winners, and we will share highlights of the last couple of years and what's coming next. Again, welcome to the Link's seventh annual event. Now please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We want to take this opportunity to share with you some of what we have been up to at The Link. The past couple of years have been incredibly difficult, but we are so proud of what our youth, staff, and community have accomplished despite all of these challenges. The Link has existed for over 30 years because of the need for housing, advocacy, and educational support has always been great. But we are seeing the needs continue to grow as the pandemic social injustice, and violence in our community have a devastating impact on the youth and families that we serve. While many other nonprofits had to reduce services or close their doors during the pandemic, 
We are proud to say that in true Link fashion, we rose to the occasion and expanded our services to meet the needs we saw in the community. Our fearless leader and CEO, Beth Holger, our incredible youth and adult staff, and all of the generous volunteers and donors have kept us going and made sure we could be there for young people when they need us most. Here are a few highlights from the past couple of years. In 2020, we opened a new emergency shelter, Dignity House for Youth, 10 to 17, who are experiencing homelessness or at risk of trafficking or falling through the cracks of the system. We are incredibly proud of this new program and the support it is able to provide minors who have nowhere else to go. Hi, welcome to Dignity House. My name is Rachel. Uh, I'm a specialist here. We are a shelter that is set up like a house, so it feels really homey for uh, the youth that come into our program. Five youth stay here at a time. We have four bedrooms, one really large one. Uh, we serve youth from the ages of 10 to 17. We're a relatively new program uh, who likes to have a lot of fun. Scoreboard on those post-its of where I am losing really badly in Connect Four tournament with one of our youth currently. Computers for everyone to do some schoolwork or job employment. Um, we love having like youth do artwork everywhere. We have um, an incentive program. So every time somebody does something really good, they get a point up when they get to 10. We get some pretty cool prizes for them. Um, just back in that room, we just have a nurse's office where youth can partner with children's MCRC nurses and uh, receive free on-site medical care whenever they need. Um, more wonderful artwork. This is my dog, Leo, in a picture that sometimes comes in and does therapy services for the youth. So that was um, for just having Leo here all the time. So we'll go into the dining room. Uh, and here, is where we eat all of our meals. We like to eat together every single day for as many meals as we can. Uh, most of the time everyone joins for that, which is always really good. Uh, we just have more youth information stuff over here. Um, stuff that staff and youth will put up on boards of like things that we really uh, wanna touch on as far as just like skills, learning, life skills. Um, so the youth will come and they'll put on their own points. For Women's History Month, we'll do different stuff like this, of like who's important, just fun stuff like that. Uh, this is from MLK Day, same thing. We typically like to do whatever, um, you know, month or holiday or whatever it is that is going on. We like to provide background information on not just the obvious things that they're maybe learning in school and just provide more background and education on that kitchen all of our staff get to make lots of good meals all the time we love having youth help us the youth get to pick a lot of the stuff that we purchase i think it's just another point where they get to have choice and they get to pick a lot of our meals which is good everyone's really encouraged to put lots of good stuff up so we get to have decorated stuff around the whole house which is really cool um and we're on spring break so the youth <laughs> We're on spring break, so the youth are kind of, you know, hanging out today, chilling on the game. Um, but we've been to the zoo this week, science museum, Timberwolves game, so lots of fun stuff. This room has been really cool because we've been able to serve a lot of siblings that are in the system, and most of the time, um, you know, siblings get separated from their families when entering uh, from the system. So this room has been really cool because we've served um, three sets of brothers and one set of sisters here. So that's been really cool for everyone to just kind of have that transition piece from whatever crisis to still have that family member here through that transitional period before going on to whatever works best for them. Okay. So up here we just have two bedrooms. Um, this bedroom right here, we have a male staying at who 
has a different version of clean than what I have for clean. Um, so this is simple kind of setup. Uh, and then this is another really nice room that we have. Uh, the youth that's in here right now is kind of close to transitioning, so he's got a lot of his stuff packed up, but um, also had a lot of fun art on the walls for his whole time here too. Um, so part of my job when I'm here is that when youth come into our care, uh, I make sure that they're set up with like school enrollment services. I'm making sure that they have after school activities set up. Uh, if they want to participate in sports, like let's do our best to make sure that that can happen. Um, anything else that they want included in their lives is a priority to us so that we try to make that happen. Um, in my year here, I've served over 23 youth. We've had a lot of great success stories where People have transitioned either into the foster care system successfully. Um, a lot of young people have gone into their own independent living housing situations. Um, a lot of family reunification stories were fitting, uh, but just lots of success stories all along the road. And we get to meet really, really cool young people throughout their time here. So. We launched a hotel shelter program in Dakota County to provide a safe place to stay during the pandemic for youth who were waiting to access stable housing. The link continued to operate 24 critical community programs, stably housing 250 youth and families, providing shelter and housing to 47 young trafficking victims, and offering educational and advocacy support to over 400 youth. Our staff got creative finding new ways to connect with and be there for youth when in-person visits and groups were not possible, making sure their basic needs were met and they had the resources to stay as safe as possible. True to our mission and values, the link continues to be youth-led. Last year, over 30 youth provided more than 2,200 hours of paid leadership through our youth advisory committees. Most recently, the link opened Paris Housing Program which provides stable housing to 15 youth who are aging out of foster care so that they don't have to go through the trauma of becoming homeless before they can get support for housing. I could go on, but we will be here for quite a while. I hope this gives you a glimpse into our work, the dedication of our staff, and resiliency of the young people we have the honor to work alongside. And while we celebrate all this amazing work, we recognize that there are more needs in our community than ever before. There are young families sleeping outside or in a car at night. Youth who are forced to trade sex for a place to stay or other basic needs. And so many other individual stories of young people who need the support of a partner like The Link. We are here now to join together in this work and continue fighting to end youth homelessness and sexual exploitation. Next up is The Link CEO, Beth Hoger. Beth has been the CEO at The Link for over eight years and continues to build and grow this agency to all that it can be. Beth? Hello and welcome everyone. I am so excited to be here with you all today. I would like to echo James in thanking all of our amazing sponsors and supporters. Without you, this work would be impossible. I am honored to be part of this organization and continue to be inspired daily by the incredible and resilient youth that we have the opportunity to work with. One of my favorite parts of this event is sharing with you the amazing volunteers, community members and partners, and youth who make this agency such a success. First up is our Volunteer of the Year Award. This award is given to a volunteer at the link who has gone above and beyond to volunteer and support the youth and families in our community. This year's award goes to Sue Haug. Sue has been supporting and volunteering with The Link for over five years. She is an incredibly kind and giving person who has a big heart for the youth in this community. She's the first to respond to our needs and calls for action, especially if there is a young parent and a baby in need. Sue is a project analyst with US Bank 
and she has been organizing a group of volunteers each year to help us with many of our needs. She's an excellent quilt maker and a master sewer, and she has organized her colleagues and friends many times to make face masks, pillows, blankets, bags, and other items for our youth based on their urgent needs. Those projects would take us many hours to prepare and a full day of work at the link to finish sewing. And that day was always filled with joy and laughter, as well as very serious and admirable work. In addition to her own incredible support of the link, Sue finds ways to share our work and need with the wider community. In 2020, American Family Insurance asked their customers to nominate their favorite nonprofit for an award. Through a nomination from Sue, the link was selected and received a $2,500 Community of Dreamers Award. Sue has been an ongoing supporter of the Link's events, attending in person, bringing friends to join in the celebrations, and donating wonderful silent auction baskets along the way. She has also been participating in our Holiday Adopt-A-Family program, donating wonderful holiday gifts for both children and their parents. We are incredibly grateful for the ways that Sue has been supporting us for so many years and so happy to have her in our community where she continues to do so many acts of kindness and inspires others to action. Congratulations, Sue. You are our volunteer of the year. We couldn't do this work without you. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. I'll move over to you. This certainly came as quite a surprise to me to be selected for the Volunteer of the Year Award. You may wonder why I choose to support the link. When I was a small child, I remember one Christmas, neither my parents were able to work, and one of the churches in the small town that I grew up in, they came and brought Christmas gifts for my brother, sister, and I, along with boxes of food for our family. As an adult, I've been blessed with the desire and resources to be able to help others who find themselves in a difficult situation. I would like to thank my employer, U.S. Bank, for allowing employees to take two paid volunteer days each year to participate in various activities for nonprofit agencies. I'd also like to thank my fellow U.S. Bank colleagues who have joined me in using their volunteer days to support the link in our sewing activities. We always have a great time getting together with the link staff and getting to hear more about the work that you are doing. This is my fifth year supporting the link and I look forward to many more years to come. Thank you again for choosing me as the volunteer of the year. If you have ever been at these events before, you know how important it is for us to have youth at them. There are many incredible young leaders, change makers in this community, and every year we award one of these leaders with the Lynx Youth Leadership Award. The award is given to a young person who has been in one of the Lynx programs and has shown great leadership within the agency and the wider community. Although it is always a difficult decision because there are so many incredible young leaders, this year we are honored to give the Lynx Youth Leadership Award to Lili Exum. It is hard to put into words to describe the feelings of respect and pride that I and we all have for Lili. We first met Lili when she was going through some pretty tough times, times that most people do not make it through. She also had this very tough look on her face that was a warning that none of us should dare mess with her, and she was pretty quiet back then. But through the years of getting to know her, first through our Lindquist Apartments program, I, we all got to see her strength, her compassion, her thoughtfulness, her creativity, her dedication to social and racial justice, and what a good leader she is, and how fun she is. She served for many years on our Project Live Out Loud Advisory Committee, which helped to design and open our Project Live Out Loud Rapid Rehousing Program, one of the first culturally specific rapid rehousing programs in the country for LGBTQ youth experiencing homelessness. 
She also was on the Hennepin County 100 Day Challenge team, which worked to house and employ over 150 young people within 100 days. And she was awarded a National True Colors Fellowship for her LGBTQ youth homelessness policy work. Although she hates public speaking, she has an exceptionally powerful voice and has used it to advocate for systems change at the local, state, and national levels. And she has moved those of us who know her to tears, cheers, and standing ovations. Lily also has gone above and beyond the typical outcomes of maintaining her own income and housing. She's graduated from college with honors. She takes good care of her own well-being and others, and an incredible mother who I've learned so much from. I am also extremely thankful that Lily wants to work within the field of youth homelessness, helping young people who had similar experiences to what she once had. She is working right now as a youth specialist at our Dignity House Emergency Shelter, where she has a profound impact on the younger youth that she works with. But I know it's only a matter of time before she takes over my role as CEO or some higher level of leadership role within our community. Watch out for her. She has and will continue to make transformational change. I am so honored to have been a small part of her journey and to get to know her. I know I can speak for all of us at The Link that we are so honored to have her talents here with us and in this community. We are so thankful that you are part of The Link family and um, a huge congratulations for being this year's Youth Leadership Award winner. Thank you, Beth. You made me cry. I know, I cried too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I literally could not have done it without the link. Um, like Beth said, I was a different person at the beginning um, when I first got involved and I didn't have very much confidence or much of a voice, but the link was able to help me find my voice and encourage me to use my voice as it, they do for all youth. Um, and I think that that is the reason why I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do today and the impact that I have on other youth. And I'm just really grateful for all the support that I've had and I hope that everybody continues to um, do everything they keep doing at the link because it really impacts and makes a difference and you don't understand the change and the difference that you make on everybody. Now, I have the great pleasure of announcing the Lynx Community Leadership Award honoree, Senator Scott Dibble. Senator Dibble has been in our Minnesota legislature for 22 years and is one of the few legislators who identifies as LGBTQ+. During his many years of state leadership, he has led and championed on many different and critical areas, but has always had youth homelessness and LGBTQ rights as two of his top priorities. He is truly one of my personal heroes, along with the wider youth homelessness field. I first met Senator Dibble back in the early 2000s when I was in my early 20s and had no idea or business being up at our state capitol. But I wanted to do something to get our state to recognize that youth homelessness was an issue here and figure out ways to end it. We started back then working on the Homeless Youth Act, or HYA. Youth experiencing homelessness were oftentimes, and still are, falling through the cracks of adult homelessness systems and were oftentimes not funded through the mainstream homelessness funding streams and really needed a unique response for their age, which is why we pushed for our own law and funding stream. The law was written by youth and frontline service providers. It includes an inclusive definition of homelessness and supports a continuum of innovative and trauma-informed services, emergency shelter, and housing options for youth and young families. It is the way our state will end youth homelessness. In addition to this, he has made so many other historic contributions to our state, such as the ban on conversion therapy, and legalizing same-sex marriage. I am so thankful 
and grateful that Senator Dibble took on our inexperienced group of policy advocates. He has shown us the way. He has not only authored our bills, but he's also taught us about the legislative process and how to best strategize for results. He is also someone who is willing to stand up for what's right, even when it's hard or risky or unpopular, and he's someone who never gives up. He is an elected leader who doesn't just talk the talk, but he truly walks the walk with us. From sending us encouraging texts, to literally reading our statements on the Senate floor, to helping us strategize, to getting knitters together to make blankets for youth, and the list could go on and on. I am here to give you this award because you have made so many invaluable contributions to our state and local community too, but also wanna thank you for all that you have taught me and the rest of us within the youth homelessness field. You are a true inspiration, a hero. We appreciate you so much and a huge congratulations to being our 2022 Community Leadership Honoree. Congratulations, Senator Dibble. We love you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for this award and recognition, but really I'm the lucky one who gets to champion the work that you do every day. I wanna accept this acknowledgement really in the name of young people who every single day claim agency and power in their lives. I can tell such amazing stories of these young people who come over to the Capitol ever since we passed the Homeless Youth Act year after year to request that their state really demand that their democracy provide the policies and the resources they need to succeed. And of course, to all the adults who comprise the leadership and the staff and the supporters of the link, thank you for all you do to create a place where young people can come for shelter and support get connected to caring and loving adults, find meaning and purpose. Thank you so much for everything you do. James shared with you earlier some incredible highlights of the past few years, and I'd like to take this opportunity to let you know what we are working on next. The link has continued to grow over the last 30 years to meet the needs in our community, but we are at capacity in our current space. We are actually beyond capacity in our current space. We are excited to announce that the Link will be launching a capital campaign to develop a new building in North Minneapolis, where we were founded and are still rooted, so we can be a resource and a place of hope for young people for years to come. We are still in the early planning stages, but our goal is to have a mixed-use building in North Minneapolis that'll offer welcoming youth spaces on the first floor, room for all of the Link's amazing staff and volunteers and board members, and above that, on-site apartments for youth and young families transitioning out of homelessness. The needs of youth and families in our community are still growing, and we will grow with them to answer those needs. We will not stop working until every young person has a safe place to sleep at night and the supports that empower them to accomplish their goals. Thank you, Beth. I cannot wait to make this a reality for The Link over the next few years. But now it's time that we ask each of you at home to join us in this work. Our youth need you. Together at this event, we need to raise $250,000 to keep the lights on and the doors open for the youth and families who rely on our services. At The Link, youth have a safe place to call home often for the first time. They get a chance to achieve sobriety, heal from trauma, advance their education or careers, and so much more. Your investment today will provide youth with safety and stability that allows them to transform their lives. Every day at The Link, we see young people becoming leaders who are connected to their community and empowered to achieve their goals. Your support makes this possible. Please make your best donation now on the viewing platform. To the left of this video is a donate tab. Click there and be inspired to give.
Thank you all so much for joining us to celebrate the link and all that can be accomplished when we work together. If you haven't yet, now is the time to click on the donate tab. Again, it's on the left side of your screen. You will help make another year possible for our youth and young families. After that, please head over to the silent auction, which will go live momentarily and check out the amazing baskets and items we have available for bidding. Thank you so much for being here with us.